forcing drivers to drive the speed limit. That's the city of Raleigh's goal when it comes to traffic calming projects. More than a dozen streets will see changes this year. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live along Brentwood Road in Raleigh, which has some unique features, Galat. Angela, and we're about to come up on one of the unique features. This is a chicane. You could see how it kind of juts out in the road, and we have to go slowly in an S to get around it. And that's really the point of it, to get drivers to drive just like that, to slow them down on Brentwood Road. But not everyone we spoke to thinks this is the best solution. This is what a chicane is supposed to do, force a driver to slow down and follow an S-shaped path made by blocks in the road. But not all drivers stick to the S, instead going straight down the curb on the center line. I don't think they're working well here. John Shaw thinks the stretch of Brentwood Road between New Hope Church Road and Capitol Boulevard has too much traffic for the chicanes, and cars try to jam through. He prefers the speed bumps that were here before the chicanes came in 2021. The speed bumps slowed down people. You had to or you mess up your car. But here, it's forcing people closer together, and um, some people are saying they're playing chicken trying to get through before the other car gets there. The city of Raleigh continues to try and slow down cars on city streets, reducing the speed limit on more than 200 streets in 2022, and says when there's a consistent speeding problem, the neighborhood may want to consider a traffic calming project like this instead. Mira Ganey says chicanes get the job done sometimes, but feels speeding is still a problem. I, I have had a lot of near misses here where people have been flying down the road and they just want me to stop and I have to slam on the brakes so that they can fly through straight down the center of them. The city says there's an average speed reduction of 8.4 miles per hour across all completed street calming projects. I, don't, I wouldn't mind them, honestly, if they're a little bit wider. Uh, the There's a couple points where they get so narrow where it's pretty much impossible to get more than one car through. Tomorrow, the Raleigh City Council will vote on lowering the speed limit on seven more streets to 25 miles per hour, part of their larger speed reduction efforts. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News.